I made a video before where I talked about the disappearance of Harry, and in that video I concluded that Harry could have gone back to London for his many scientific discoveries, including the cure for cancer, and making inventions that could help the world one day, but we've gotten some new information about Harry's absence in SML. On Chili's vlog channel, Logan made a video titled Pooby Destroyed Harry, where Logan finally addresses what happened to Harry. While Pablo was gone, we basically needed like a third friend. There was Junior, Joseph, and we needed someone to replace Cody. And we had this random puppet that a fan sent us. And I don't, guys, what is that puppet from? Like, what show is it from? Is it just a random made puppet? Have you ever seen this puppet ever on a show or a website? Can you help me find another Harry puppet? Because Harry was like basically like a really smart British nerd character that Lance voiced and replace we replaced Cody with Harry while Pablo was gone. And a lot of people thought that the reason for Harry's disappearance was because they forgot about him. Because after the pandemic calmed down, Pooby came back to film in more videos. And with the characters that Pablo plays, like Brooklyn Guy and Cody coming back, Harry is also gonna go away just because they used him as a substitute for Cody and they only had Harry to fill in as the smart person of the group. But Logan said that the reason for Harry's absence in recent SML videos was because they just can't find the puppet anywhere. Logan doesn't know where the puppet is from and he asked the viewers if they know where they can find another identical Harry puppet. And Logan, if you're watching this and still need a Harry puppet, he's from the company Puppet Partners, but the puppet doesn't look exactly the same. However, it could definitely work or you could find a replacement close to it, probably in their older production if you can find it on eBay. Bay. But going back to the video, the only thing that Logan knew was that Harry was sent from a fan, with fans asking where Harry is, and Logan wanting to bring Harry back for some videos or at least maybe some school scenes. And occasionally, Logan once a month made jokes that Pablo took Harry and destroyed him because Pablo was jealous that Harry was taking the spotlight from Cody. And in one of the newest SML videos, SML movie Chef Jr., Harry was finally mentioned. The video showed Joseph Cody and Timmy sitting on the red couch with Junior asking what they want to do. With Timmy saying that he and Cody are going to go see a movie and when Cody and Timmy left, Joseph and Junior asked when they were going to kick Cody out of the group and Junior says I don't know and asks what happened to Harry and Pablo appears to tell them that they'll never know with Junior concerned and thinking that Pablo had something to do with the disappearance of Harry. Dude, when are we going to kick Cody out of the group? I don't know. Whatever happened to that Harry guy? You'll never know. I'm starting to think Pablo got rid of the Harry puppet. And instead of Harry going back to London for his scientific discoveries, like I said, Pablo probably had something to do with the disappearance of Harry, at least in the canon of SML. Maybe not in real life, but now this is canon. And it's probably that Pablo took Harry somewhere far away and killed him with no evidence being left behind, just judging by the way that Pooby said, you'll never know. You'll never know. But I think that the only reason that Pooby was appearing was because of a fourth wall break that originally in Chili's vlog, Logan was jokingly saying that Pooby destroyed Harry because he was jealous. However, in the SML universe, a character that was jealous of Harry was Cody, as Harry first appeared in SML movie The Redo Button, where we see Jackie Chu teaching the class about recycling and after introducing Harry, an exchange student from London, he takes Cody's seat. All right, Ray from London and his name's Harry. Come on in, Harry. Hello everyone, my name is Harry. Jolly good seeing you all today. Ha! He sounds funny. Mm-mm-mm. Nothing like some recycled water. That's disgusting! Shut up! I'm trying to save the planet! Captain Planet. <laughs> Alright, Harry, you can sit uh oh in Cody's seat, because he doesn't like coming to class anyway. Jolly good. Hey, you can't take Cody's seat. Yeah, this is my seat. And during the pandemic, when Cody appeared in videos, he would only appear over FaceTime. And when Harry took Cody's seat, he threw away the phone that Cody was on FaceTime with and ended up replacing Cody just like that. And after that encounter with Harry, he probably already hated his guts for being the new smart guy in class. And so when Cody and Harry finally met in SML movie Cody Meets Harry, the video starts off with Cody going back to his original seat just to see that Harry took his seat. And after telling Harry to move, Junior and Joseph tell Cody that it's not his seat anymore because he was gone for so many months and it's now Harry's seat. Actually, this is my seat. 
I don't see your name on it. Well, actually, you do. See, it says Cody right there. It's me. Oh, well, I'm not moving. But you just clearly saw this is my seat. It has my name. Cody, it's not your seat anymore. It's Harry's seat. You haven't been to school in months. Yeah, dude. But, but this is my seat. Why don't you run along and stick your little toy up your butt? And after arguing with the whole class, Cody argues that the reason for him not coming to school was because he didn't want to get sick. And Jackie Chu just tells Cody to go sit in the closet. And so Cody still tries to participate in the class from the closet, but literally no one can hear him. And Harry would answer the questions instead, stealing his thunder. And so when Cody went back to his desk, he saw that Ken left him for Harry, causing a huge fight between the two until the teacher proposes a competition to settle their problem to where the loser will face confinement in the closet. You can steal my seat and you can steal my smartest kid in the class status, but you cannot steal my boyfriend. What does E equal? MC squared. What's the Pythagorean theorem? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. All right, break it up, nerds. I don't want any more blood. There's only one way to solve this. We're gonna have the smartest kid in the class competition. And Cody, Harry, you two are gonna go home and invent something. And then tomorrow, you're gonna show the inventions off to the class. And whoever has the best invention will be known as the biggest nerd in the class. And the loser is gonna be known as the stupidest kid in the class and have to sit in the closet for the rest of the year. And so, Cody heads to Harry's house to see what he's gonna do for the competition. And so, when looking through the window, Cody sees that Harry made the cure for cancer. And realizing just how cool this is, Cody rushes home in a panic. What? There's no way I can beat that! Uh, I gotta get home and invent something! And in his room, Cody comes up with a plan to cheat by inventing a stupid ray to make Harry dumb and prevent them from even presenting his invention. Which means that Cody hates Hated Harry so much that he would rather cancer continue as one of the deadliest illnesses in the world than lose to Harry. So Cody creates the ray and tested it on Joseph off screen because when Joseph was at school, he looked really, really stupid and sounded the same. And while Harry's preparing his invention with three different bottles of the cure for cancer, Cody presents his stupid ray to the class and Cody uses Harry as a volunteer and successfully shoots him and makes him dumb. I I think we should try it on a volunteer from the class. Ooh, Harry, I think I see your hand up. I didn't have my hand up. <laughs> And now, as it's Harry's turn to showcase his invention, he just pours the cancer cure on the floor because Cody shot him with the stupid ray. And Jackie Chu, not knowing what was in the bottle, declares Cody the winner of the smartest nerd competition. And initially, Cody says that he's sorry and admits that he was at fault, but then Jackie Chu reframes it, saying that Cody cheating was actually him outsmarting Harry, and so he still deserves the win. And Cody realizes he did earn the victory after all, but we all know that this just isn't true and if you cheat you're gonna get caught and you're gonna lose and so when harry reverts back to normal in rage he yells at cody for him cheating and saying that this wasn't the end of him with harry deciding to go to the closet where cody once was and cody took ken back and after this encounter between each other i think that cody built the machine to kill harry or something to at least cause him to vanish. Cody knew that Harry was smarter than him and that he could take his place in the trio whenever he wants. So with Harry gone, Cody could fit himself back into the group as if nothing happened. And we know that Cody can invent whatever he wants, like the baby machine, the stupid ray, or whatever else we've seen in videos. And so what I think is that Cody remade one of his old inventions that helped him make Harry disappear. Like an SML movie, Shrunken, where Cody comes over to Junior's house with a shrink machine and cody shows it off by shrinking a pile of cards and then junior asks him to shrink a rubik's cube and it works again whoa cody Dude. you shrunk those cards wow i can't believe it actually worked we should shrink some more stuff yeah uh uh oh i know shrink this rubik's cube all right whoa and so Junior asks if he could use the shrink ray, and Cody hesitantly gives it to Junior, but he shrinks Cody's glasses and then his left eye. But then Cody and Junior fight over the shrink ray, which shrinks Joseph's phone, and so Joseph gets mad at Junior and tries to fight him. So Junior, being scared of Joseph, shrinks him. Dude! Oh, just because I'm small, you think I won't fight you? Oh, 
I'll bite you like an ant, bro. Junior, you shrunk Joseph. He wanted to fight me. Junior, I can't reverse this. He's going to be small forever. Literally shrinks all of Joseph. And Cody gets angry at Junior, claiming that he can't fix it. And when Cody tries to take the gun back, he then shrinks Ken. And so Cody leaves to make blueprints to make an enlarged machine. And while he's doing that, Junior is showing Jeffy the gun and shrinks Jeffy's pencil. And then Junior keeps shrinking things like Chef Pee Pee and Black Yoshi. And when Cody got back with the blueprints for the enlarged machine, Junior shrinks Cody's other eye, leaving him blind. Okay, so all you have to do is just turn the shrink machine into an enlarged machine? Yeah, I just have to use these blueprints. So uh, give me the machine. All right. What? Junior, come on, man, really? You shrunk both of my eyes? You are making this so much harder than it needs to be. Uh, Cody, I'm sorry, my finger slipped. No, it didn't, Junior. And eventually, they destroy the machine so that they stop shrinking stuff, but they forgot to enlarge Joseph. And if this was a canon event, we would never see Joseph ever again. So what Cody could have done is that he could have remade the shrink ray and shrunk Harry so that no one could see him. With Junior and Joseph then just forgetting about Harry, and Harry probably dead with nobody seeing him or nobody knowing what happened to him, he just got stomped on. And Cody is the only one who really knows, and now he's the only smart person at school. And with the fourth wall break, you'll never know. Since Pooby plays Cody, it's understandable why he said you'll never know in that tone of voice. Because Pooby also knows that Cody killed Harry. But let me know where you think Harry is down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and click on this video here.